What's up guys, Optimus Brit here and this is another how to episode in my how to playlist for Port Royale 3. Uh, before this video kicks off guys I'd like to refer you to go check out my playlist for Let's Plays of Port Royale 3. I'm sure you'll enjoy them, I am pretty much definite. So this episode is going to cover quite a mi basic idea of how to get trade profit quite simply. So at the moment you see I've got a couple of goods I brought from um, Cayman which they produce so I'm just going to go into a bit of depth about it and see you guys and let you guys know some of my tips and then in episodes future I'll go more deeper information to as you can see my shit's boarding now so you firstly click that and then go to the dock which is just there and now you can see that by going on the commodity button and then on the left button which is island to ship you are brought to this interface now firstly you've got the icon of the goods so if you ho hover over it you get wheat you got your adobe bricks and you got your log so on this side here where my mouse cursor is this is the stock and how much this certain island has in the middle is the price the exchange rate of each good per well per price per item i should say and then the amount in your convoy so at the moment you can see that i've got 25 fruits the cost is 90 and then they have 145 now when buying off an island you want to make sure that to make sure that you keep the best reputation within the island see i have 20 percent here in port royale you don't want to buy any of the things that they don't have a lot of which is shown by this red bar so let's say i buy some logs off them i've got one percent reputation decrease because i've stolen some of the goods that they are low on now the best way for that is you buy the goods that they are producing which is shown by the gear to the bottom right hand side of the icon so if I buy some corn of them a quick tip is to never get it into the red zone like that because if you get it into the red zone that's another way of losing reputation because you're draining them of their produce so getting it into the one bar will save you from losing any reputation so I'm going to buy 24 corn and as you can see everything went fine I'm going to buy some more metal because that's their producing get it to one bar some cotton and then you're going to find that in your ship already I brought over some stock that they don't have so you find and locate that stock they don't have such as hemp so I'm going to sell that to them bang your, your reputation increased because you've just given them some items that they didn't have before now another quick tip so I'm just going to sell everything that I have to them uh, that they don't have producing so that's, I'm going to take some of that as well okay so that's the first tip guys whilst I'm on Port Royale 3 if you hover over the town, you can see that there's a jumping head, as I like to call it. A merchant. Greetings up to me by Captain aboard me a short while ago, and now I'm looking for someone interested in buying a large amount of my goods. I was selling them to you for the price of their production. I tend not to go for those type of quests, because I think that sometimes I can get ripped off, even though they are trying to genuinely sell them to me. So I'm going to go to another Spanish city, Santiago, and we're going to see what we can trade up there. Also, a quick tip, you don't have to access the town, you can do it from this button right here, but for now, I need to show you by going into the town, so we'll do that. Okay, in this place, you've got the dock. Now, they're producers of logs, which is unfamiliar to Port Royale, and as you can see, the exchange rate is 92 for corn, so I'm going to sell that to them, get some reputation increase. Da -da -da. And see, so it's just a quick, easy way to make money from ship, from uh, island to island, who may be the items will be cheaper. Sorry for stu 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 stuttering. <laughs> so basically guys, the summary is that things that don't have the gear, the town is not producing this, so therefore there is a more, there's a bigger need for them. So that means that by going to a different city and bringing it over, it means you're going to be helping them supply and they're going to have a, ch they're going to have a higher price for them, which means you're going to earn profit. So I'm just going to quickly go over, over that. So go over, over, over that. So let's see, they're producing cotton at 60 per, so I'm going to get, just get some, I'm going to get 55, and that's at 85, so that's 3,454, I'm going to write that down somewhere if I can, I'll probably just remember it, 3,000, oh dear, keep it at 50, 3,000 pretty much, okay, so buy 50, and that's cotton, so now we're going to quickly go to another Spanish city, so cotton, and that was at 3,000, or even an English city, let's see what English are selling it at, okay, so go into their village, or <laughs> village, island, sorry, uh, we're going to look at the price of cotton, sadly that they, if I was to sell 50, I'd get 3,000, so I'd be making a negative profit, so we know not to sell it to the island, because they are also producing it, so let's go venture to another island, such as Isabella. 
Let's go to Isabella. Quickly go that because we don't want to waste that too much time. Cotton. They're not doing it, and as you can see per price, it's a hundred. So that's a massive profit compared to uh, Tortuga. So if we sell fifty, you can see it's a slight profit, but it's around almost fifty percent profit. So by selling that. Boom, we've just made a profit and also some reputation increased. Now, if I can quickly wrap this up, guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. And I'm just going to quickly go over the quests again. People everywhere are willing to pay a fair price for ropes. I want to seize this opportunity to increase production in our business. Now, this is something that I'll be investigating next time, guys, in our how-to videos, which is the quests that aren't about goods. They're more about buying businesses and also finding lost lost family members which tends to be the most popular so thank you very much guys for watching i hope this video has been informative and will help you gain more profit this is from the adventurer campaign just so i can tell you beforehand well not beforehand <laughs> afterhand oh dear well thank you very much guys and make sure that you post in the comments below if i've missed anything or you know anything better of so i'm always open to constructive criticism so thank you very much guys this has been an assignment failed oh god oh this has been optimus spirit and i will see you guys next time stay locked bye bye